So the customer says, makes noise when the blades are on. So I don't know if you can see down in the corner, I've got a camera set up down here. We're gonna use this. I don't know if these mics are gonna pick up the sound real good, but we about to find out. Now that was loud. Oh my goodness, I hope the mic picked that up. Welcome back to Rayleigh's Small Engines. I'm T-Bone. Appreciate y'all tuning in. I wonder why it's making a racket. Those ought to cut another yard or two, what you think? When you let your blades get that bad, they're out of balance. It's not only dangerous, but it's going to ruin these spindles. That's what that blade used to look like, folks. This is a 6189 right here from Rotary Copperhead Blade. Uh, same as this, three-in-one deal. I went and got a couple more out of the uh, scrap pile. I want you to look at this. Now, as these blades wear, you see how thin this is getting in here? Now what's going to happen at some point, that piece of metal is going to fly off. And then guess what? The piece of metal flies off, falls on the ground, knocks a hole in your tire. Then you got a flat tire. You get off the mower, you're barefooted, you walk around there, step on it. Then you don't cut your foot, go to the hospital, get some stitches, and come back and find out your spindles is ruined too. Now, obviously, I've got this jacked up in the air. Makes it a little easier to film. You can do this on the ground, same way. There's a couple extra clips back there to pull out. They come out just like that. Pop those things out, take your deck, get your cable off, and just slide it out, real simple. In this case, do this and that. There it is. Now you can get right to it. This thing's about to tip backwards. Always warm your air tool up. I'm just kidding. Be sure you wear your gloves. Pop that bad boy off. Wiggle. Something you want to pay attention to. These are some very fine teeth in here. Uh, if you have hit something, most likely you have stripped these out. You need to replace this pulley also. All right, switch up air guns. Ooh, I hit the camera, I'm sorry. Think professional, huh? Yeah, whatever. Four bolts. A lot of times these bolts will ring off, but what I want you to do, regardless, I want these bolts replaced. We're not gonna reuse these bolts. There's your spindle. Now we've got our new spindle in from Rotary, okay? I usually keep these in the stock. Oh, on the floor sometimes too. The part number for this particular one is an 11590, okay? Now there's a couple things you need to know about this. When there's a difference, you've got the five point star. This new one, there's a little lip at the top. And what'll happen, Excuse me. When you go to put your blade on with the original flat washer bolt, I'm just going to screw this all the way down. This is very, very important. Pay attention. You still got play in there, okay? Even and it's just you still got play. I'm going to show you how to fix that. And the way you fix it is with the new bolt which is a one, four, four, five, seven. Now what that is, is a cupped washer. It's got a little cup to it, whereas the old one was flat. I'll show you the difference a little closer on those. But once you do that, you put this new one in, it'll make up the difference uh, for that little kick up on the 
edge of the thing. See, that's nice. That's nice and sturdy now. Okay, so that's something very important to remember when you're doing this. One more thing: the bolts, the four bolts that are mounting. That is a nine three seven four. Okay, I want you to replace them. Just because I'd rather be safe than sorry. You know what I mean? A lot of times these bolts will ring off. Some we got lucky on this one, it didn't. You see this? I'm just gonna pop them out. We're gonna go right up underneath. There is a protective cover on these spindles to protect these threads. So don't forget to take that off or you'll never get your nut started. Let's pop this under here. These do happen to come pre-threaded. So you can just start your bolts up here. All four of those. That first one didn't get started real good. But we're going to pop these four in. There it goes. Now, when I go to do this, I'm going to pull this up. If you use an impact, don't go crazy. This thing here will ring them off. Snap on from about 1983, 84. Never put a battery in it. Imagine that. Now what we do, get our old belt a right on there. See, you got to take that off. Lined up on the splines real good. Let's get the big boy up. And then go over there and do the other side. It's too easy, folks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonder what Derek Berry's doing today over there at Vice Grip Garage. Betting he's rescuing something they'll drive at 800 miles home or somewhere or whatever. Get back over here where you're supposed to be. Get in the And I know everybody doesn't have impact tools and all that. Just, you know, if you don't, that's fine, folks. Take your time and take your time and you can do it with hand tools. It's not a big deal. I understand it's not worth the investment. Where did my air hose? I have lost my doggone. There it is. Ah, I'm gonna fall off the darn stool. Yeah, just take your time with it, folks. You can do this. Y'all, oh, plug your ears. Sorry. Whoops. Now right. I've lost my other pulley. this bad boy back on if you ever replacing just the belt these you can generally just will walk off like that they've got enough flex in them they'll come off pretty easy if you're changing just your belt don't go nowhere Now all we got to do put the deck back up here in the hole. Clippy do the washer, clippy do hook the belt back in right there. Oh, I still got it engaged. Hold on one second. Let me flip my hand. I had it engaged so that those brakes come back off the pulley. Is why I do that so that way it's easy to spin. Look at there. Remember now, you cup washer. 
cup washer, not a flat washer. Here's a little close up. See the difference? Okie dokie. Let's put them on. Always be sure you wear your safety shoes, gloves, all that kind of good stuff. I hear my air gun leaking. Y'all can probably hear that too. But it'll be all right. Make sure you get that blade on that five point star like it's supposed to be. Can't tell you how many people I've seen will ring those things, mess them all up, and then you end up putting a doggone uh, a new shaft in. And then once you put a new shaft in, you know, if you're going to have it out, you might as well put new bearings. Rod, what? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I got one more thing to show you. If you want to know, check your blades, see how those are nice and level across there? Now, spin it around the other way and see they're still pretty close. If you hit something, sometimes those will be out of whack and you can take a hammer and hit the deck, bend that thing one way or the other to get them back straight and give you a nice, nice even cut. So those are... The cutting edges are real close there on both ways. Awesome. And I'm not going to respond to any comments about this. I'm only doing this because they're there. It don't do a doggone thing because the bearings are sealed, folks. And somebody says, well, there's this video on that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, well, bite me. Y'all ready to see what it's gonna do? I got a little camera down there. We're gonna try that for sound again. Let's see what kind of difference we got. Daggum, it did battery. Don't you hate it when that happens? I guess I might have charged it. See if it's any good. Let's jump her off and then I'm gonna get on it and cut the blades on. Better hit record over here. All right, let's see what's happening, Captain. That's what I'm talking about. I've got the air condition in the shop set on meat locker. <laughs> Hope this helps someone out. Get your mower fixed where it's not making a bunch of racket and you can go cut some grass and be safe without your blades coming apart. Spindles tore up and get injured or something. We appreciate y'all watching. Please click that subscribe button. It's always free. Give us one of those thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. See you next time. Thanks.